All right, guys, well, I'm back today with an overview of a very interesting pocket pistol. This is the kel P32, and it's actually been around the block for a while. I recently picked this up in a pawn shop challenge, and if you're interested in some pawn shop hunts and pawn shop find videos, definitely subscribe to my channel and check it out. I also love to review high value and budget products and post deal alerts so you can follow me on some other platforms. Now, when I grabbed this for the challenge, I've been eyeballing these for a very long time because I did previously own the kel P3AT. Now, it was a little bit snappy for what I liked and I found that the Ruger LCP Max felt a little bit better with recoil, sight picture, and overall performance, especially with the round count. I've also tried things like the CAR CW9 or actually the CW380, excuse me, and that was a great pocket pistol. So I've really fallen in love with some of the other pocket pistols from other brands, but I've always wanted to try the kel P32 and I got a chance to grab it. One of the first things you'll notice when you pick it up is it is incredibly lightweight, even when the mag is loaded, which draws me to this handgun. So you can truly drop this in your pocket and forget that it's there. Also, ergonomically, it feels fairly comfortable. It's got an undercut trigger guard. You can get two fingers on it. And for reference, I wear size large mechanics gloves. The mag release stays out of the way, and the mag doesn't really drop free. But again, you're probably not going to be doing tactical reloads. And the mag seems like a fairly nice quality. The cocking serrations on the slide work out really well, and you can easily cock the gun. And this particular one does lock back after the last shot. The sight picture is actually not too bad, yet very low profile, allowing you to hit your target. And at about seven yards, I was easily taking shots uh, in the size of my hand, actually probably in the size of my fist. So it was fairly accurate for what it was. The trigger pull on this guy, let me make sure it's clear for the thousandth time, is fairly long, but not overly heavy. It kind of hits a wall or a staging point. Then you have a little bit more take up and then the break. The reset is actually not that long, audible and reasonably tactile, followed up by a crisp break. So the reset on this gun is actually pretty nice for a pocket pistol. So not the worst trigger I felt on a pocket pistol. Now, one of the main things about a handgun like this is, is it going to be reliable? And I tried two different types of ammunition through it, PMC hollow points and PV partisan full metal jacket with no issues whatsoever. And it was 100% functional down at the range. So much so I'm going to be incorporating this into my carry rotation as a backup gun or a pocket pistol. So this actually worked out really good. Another cool thing about the kel P32 is the fact that the recoil impulse is incredibly minimal, especially compared to the 380 counterpart. This thing has almost no recoil compared to something like a snappy 380 and a little bit more recoil than a 22, yet it's still a center-fired cartridge that packs a little bit more of a punch than the 22, so much better carry option than some types of 22 handguns. Gives you the benefits of the lightweight feel and comfortableness of having a lightweight 22 pocket pistol, but in a much stronger caliber that's going to be more reliable and a little bit better functioning for personal defense. In summary, if you were looking for a pocket handgun, I wouldn't stray away from the P32. Now, I'd much rather carry the Ruger LCP Max, but that starts to get a little bit larger with 10 rounds of 380, and it can start to print. And if you're looking for deep concealment, a lightweight hiking or backpacking or jogging gun, Gun, the kel P32, in my opinion, is a viable option that shouldn't be overlooked, and I'm actually a really big fan of this handgun. If you want more information about this, you can always head over to my other platforms, check out my campsite page, and subscribe to the channel to check out a ton of other videos that I do, as well as deals and updates. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.